This is homework video number two for worksheet H10-10. The directions state, use Pascal's triangle to expand the quantity of x plus y to the seventh power. In the previous problem, we just built Pascal's triangle to the seventh row. The coefficients we ended up with in the seventh row were 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, and 1. There are eight terms in that row. Remember that will always be one more than the row number. So it's row number seven, but there are eight terms. We were doing in we were doing this in the notes with a plus b to the seventh power to whatever power there. But since this is just an x and a y and there are no coefficients in there with the x's and the y's, let's just go ahead here and just do it with the x's and the y's. We'll say here we're going to have our coefficient of 1 times something plus 7 times something plus 21 times something, 35. And then we'll have a second 35 as we work our way back down. So 35 plus 21 plus 7 plus 1. Now we'll look here at our first term. Remember this degree is 7, so each of these terms will have a degree of 7. We'll put our x to the 7th, and then we're going to decrease the power in each term as we work our way across. Remember the very last term here would be like an x to the 0 power. You don't have to list it in there. I'm just going to do it here just to make sure that we're understanding it here. For our second term, we have a positive y. And the exponents on the y's, since it's in the back, will increase. So we're going to start with y to the 0, y to the 1st, y to the 2nd, y to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, until you get all the way to the end, and it should be 7th. Important characteristic to remember, if we add the exponents together on each of these, it should give us 7 if you've done it correctly. Last part of this, let's just simplify it. We've got x to the 7th plus 7x to the 6th y to the 1st plus 21x to the 5th y to the 2nd plus 35x to the 4th y to the 3rd plus another 35, but this one with x to the third, and then y to the fourth, plus 21x squared, y to the fifth, plus 7x, y to the sixth, plus y to the seventh. And that is our answer. If you have any questions about this, please make sure you reach out to your teacher. Thanks for watching.